Admiral Glass, Advanced Fabrics, Anglo West School District, Atlantic Archery Center, Atlantic Superstore, Smite Street, Bamford's Collision Service, Bates Custom Laminating, Bliss Carmen Middle School, BPO Elks Lodge Number 274, Brunswick Street Baptist Church, Capital Crane Rentals, Carmichael Engineering, Celestial Chapter Number 3, Order of the Eastern Star, Connaught Street School, DKB Enterprises, Dobblestein Signs, Dolan's Pub, Dr. Naomi S. White, Professional Corp., Dr. Thomas Jerry Boyd, Professional Corp., Eastern College, Eastern Designers and Company, Ecole St. Anne, Faith Baptist Church, Forest Hill School, Fredericton Christian Academy, Fredericton City Club, Fredericton High School, the Fredericton IODE, the Fredericton Lions Club, Fredericton Northwest Construction Association, the Fredericton Police Force, Front Gate Financial Group, Gessner Elementary School, Greer's Mountain Salvage, Guardian Ross Drug, Hoyt's Moving and Storage, J.W. Bird and Company Limited, Jean Coutu, number 154, Briggs Drugs, Kinsman Club of Fredericton, Knights of Columbus, Council 9496, Knights of Columbus, Dr. G. Everett Grant, 4th Degree Assembly, 0620, Leo Hayes High School, Max Health Institute, Mecca Corporation, Midtown Dental Clinic, Montana's, Montgomery Street School, Nasonworth Pentecostal Church in Motion, Navy League Cadet Corps of Fredericton, the New Maryland Arbor District Girl Guides, New Maryland United Church, Noreen Barwise Realty, the Nurses Association of New Brunswick, Odd Fellows, Office of the Fire Marshal, OSI Clinic, Quality Shoes Limited, Regent Mall Administration, the Retired Nurses Group, Richwill Truck Center, Ridge Timber Trading 2016 Incorporated, Royal LaPage Gardner Realty, Rural Community of Hanwell, Shanex Neal Hall, Shanex Thomas Hall, Signature Spinal Care, St. Mary's First Nation, the Stan Cassidy Center, Stuart McKelvey Law, T. Saunders Doyle and Company Accountants, Tech Consultants Limited, Tempo Transport Incorporated, the Daigle Group of Exit Realty, the Real Estate Board of the Fredericton Area, Trias Incorporated, the UNB Faculty of Nursing, UPS, Valley Ridge Furniture, Wilmot United Church, Wood Motors, Yard Gear Sales and Service, and York Dental Clinic. Branch 4 of the Royal Canadian Legion again wishes to thank all the individuals, businesses, and organizations who have supported the Legion through the purchase of wreaths and memorials. While this is a truly different time amid COVID-19, the message is still the same on Remembrance Day. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Well, Fredericton Branch COVID 4 of the Royal Canadian Legion welcome to the 5th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. And right now, I just want to thank everybody in attendance. I want to thank all the volunteers who helped display our wreaths and crosses yesterday. And uh, I, I really appreci appreciate their work. Thank you to them. Thank you for observing this special day today. The importance of a live ceremony honoring our veterans and their sacrifices is considered paramount by the Legion especially during the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. By adjusting the format, 
The legions are tailoring this year's memorial ceremonies to honor our veterans and their sacrifices. Every year, including this year, at the 11th hour, the 11th day, the 11th month, we gather in memorial parks, cenotaphs, community halls, workplaces, and homes to stand in honor of our fallen. Together we observe the moment of silence to mark the sacrifice of the many Army, Navy, Air Force that paid the ultimate price in the service of our country and to acknowledge the courage of those who still serve. We will now stand and sing the national anthem. We're a little early, but we'll have the last post. Please continue to stand. Just a warning when the uh, artillery pieces fire, if you have pets, just uh, kind of comfort them a little.
We have the lament. The act of remembrance. They shall grow not old, as we are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Bad rate, but party. Order! The prayer is printed in your program just underneath the act of Wait. remembrance, and if you'd like to join in with hey. me, I welcome, you, I welcome you to do so. Let us pray. Creator of us all, may we honor those who have died and those who still suffer by calling to mind that whether we wear our country's uniform or not, whether we practice a particular faith or a personal philosophy, all our work for peace and justice while never perfect, is an offering. It can be used for the good of the whole creation. In the name of the one who said, blessed are the peacemakers, amen. Thank you, Padre. Please be seated. I'm going to go forward with the reading of the... Uh, the wreath layers. You'll notice that they've all been pre-positioned this year. On behalf of New Brunswick, the Honorable Brenda Murphy, Lieutenant Governor. On behalf of Member of Parliament, 
the Honorable Jenica Atwin, the Silver Cross wearer, Mrs. Helen Dorcas, Premier of New Brunswick, Honorable Blaine Higgs, Colonel Wayne Parsons, Base Commander of the 5th CDSB, Gagetown, President Don Swain, Royal Canadian Legion, Branch Number 4. Honorable David Richards of the Senate of Canada, Honorable David Kuhn, MLA, Fredericton South, Sylvain Roussel, Veterans Affairs Canada, His Worship, Mayor Michael Bryan, City of Fredericton, Lieutenant, excuse me, Lieutenant Trevor Norton, 2nd Battalion, Royal Canadian Regiment, Lieutenant Lieutenant Colonel Stevens Davies Tactics School Combat Training Center. Commander Blair, Blair Brown, HMCS Fredericton. Assistant Commissioner Larry Trombley, J Division, RCMP. Chief Roger Brown, Fredericton City Police. Provincial Fire Marshal Michael Lewis, Office of the Fire Marshal. Maureen Wallace, Nurses Association of New Brunswick. Provincial Chairman Joseph Rideout, New Brunswick Command, Royal Canadian Legion. District Commander Carolyn Braun, Capital District, Royal Canadian Legion. Ladies Auxiliary President Marilyn Brennan, Branch 4, Royal Canadian Legion. This brings us to the closing of our, of our ceremony today. So if you all stand, we'll have the Royal Anthem. Thank you, everybody that made an effort to come here today to honor our fallen and our veterans of today. And uh, there will be a social at Branch 4. We're located at the exhibition grounds uh, following the ceremony. So I we'll hope to see you there. Thank you. Sergeant at Arms, march off the colors. Legionnaires, attention, fall out. <laughs> 